Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the fork line and probability methods make use of what probability rule and here is the four answers to choose from. So the first variant, test cross, what is a test cross? Imagine that we have some phenotypes, for example, gene for the gene A, it can be with the heterozygous or dominant, for the gene B it also can be heterozygous or dominant, but phenotype is going to be dominant. We don't know whether gene A is heterozygous or homozygous dominant and gene B heterozygous or uh, homozygous dominant. So in this case we just have to cross with another plant or animal that is going to be homozygous recessive for both genes. This is what we call test cross. And now uh, let's talk about answer C on a hybrid rule. Actually, there is no such rule, but let me explain on a hybrid cross. Again, uh, we have one gene A and in um, diploid organism, we may have a situation when one allele is going to be dominant, another is going to be recessive. So we call such situation heterozygous or we also can say hybrid. And we, if we talk about one gene, we call this monohybrid cross. If we talk about two genes, we call this dehybrid cross. So monohybrid cross would result in, take a look, in a progeny, which we call F1 generation. And we are going to have capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So such a cross is going to result in three quarters of the uh, dominant phenotype and one quarter of the recessive phenotype. Now let's talk about um, product rule and sum rule. Imagine that we have a cross of one genotype as follows with another genotype and the same genotype. And the question is, what is the probability that the progeny is going to be uh, homozygous recessive for both genes? And in this case, we can use for client method in order to find the answer. Take a look. If we take gene A, and this is exactly what we see here. One parent is heterozygous for the gene A, another is also heterozygous for the gene A. That means that we may have three variants. First, we can get capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, and small a, small a. And probability that we are going to get capital A, capital A is going to be one quarter. So probability is one quarter. Probability of having heterozygous for the gene A is going to be one half. And probability to have two recessive alleles is going to be one quarter. So let's put one quarter here. And the same picture for the gene B. Again, if both parents are going to be heterozygous for the gene B, we are going to get three variants. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And probability is going to be one quarter. Again, that this is going to be capital B capital B, one quarter, capital B, capital B, one quarter, capital B, capital B, and one half that is going to be capital B, small b, capital B, small b, one half, and one half, capital B, small b and one quarter, one quarter, that is going to be small b, small b, one quarter, small b, small b, and one quarter, small b, small b. Now we have to find the probability that 
the progeny is going to be homozygous recessive for the gene A and homozygous recessive for the gene B. And probability would be one quarter probability that progeny is going to have two recessive allele A and one quarter two recessive allele B. So we have to multiply these probabilities. So let me use different color. And when we multiply these probabilities, we can find that probability of such genotype going to be 1 16th. And for example, probability of having progeny that is going to be capital A capital A and capital B capital B is going to be 1 quarter multiplied by 1 quarter also 1 16th. So 1 16th here. And probability, for example, that progeny is going to be homozygous recessive for the gene A and heterozygous for the gene B is going to be one quarter multiplied by one half. So multiplied by one half and probability of such genotype is going to be one eighth. And for example, if the question would be what is the probability if we cross this two genotypes that the progeny is going to be homozygous recessive for both genes and homozygous recessive for the gene A and heterozygous for the gene B. In this case we have to add these two probabilities and the answer is going to be 3 16 So first we use a product rule to find individual probabilities for each genotype and then we use sum rule to sum these probabilities. So as you see the correct answer is going to be uh, answer B. In fork line method we use product rule. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.